Alrighty guys, in the spirit of showing plants when they aren't in their best condition, so that all of us when our plants are inevitably not in the best condition know what's happening, this is either a part two to the first part, which was the repotting of the lovely string of hearts here, or you can um, you see this just as a little quick tutorial. Um, and I left one of the little branches here left to show you what I did and I repotted it in this um, pot which is going to be a hanging pot um, in plastic because I tend to underwater which is how it got in this condition in the first place. Um, a lot of the branches were drying up and breaking off and um, so then it was kind of scraggly and there was just long branches left. So. Um, what I show in the other video is me repotting it all together, getting all of the dirt off of it because it was very peaty, which when it gets wet it tends to kind of form a crust and then water can't penetrate, which is no good for the, these succulents that have the thin little um, stems. So I did that and then what I did is take the branches which are really long, they were anyways, and um, divide them all out and loop them over like this and underneath just just bearing them just just a little bit sorry i'm having a little trouble holding the camera and doing this um, then i use a little piece of wire bent in a little u shape and just sorry, like this which I show all this in the other video, but I poke it down in there and then just bury it a little bit so these will root. So what I have left, the lighting is not good here. Hang on, sorry about that. What I have left are these loops. You can see a few of them are um, the branches, or sorry, the stems were smaller, um, but the really long ones formed just loops down here. So one end is the root, and then it looped down, it came back up and was pinned under the soil right here, and then the other side hangs down, which is why some of them are not loops. That's, that would be the other end of these really, really long strings. And then after these root, then I will snip these. And they will just keep growing and that'll help this uh, the rooted part up here get a lot thicker because it was getting really really sparse so um, these guys like a bit more water than a lot of them and I am a chronic underwaterer <laughs> in the summer especially so I have a bit more um, a little bit less of a grainy mix than I usually use on some of my succulents but my main um, problem is when I water and it doesn't soak in because of the peaty soil that this came with. A lot of the hanging ones, for whatever reason, seem to come with this really peaty potting soil. And I've had this for a while. I got it from a reputable grower, but it still had this peaty potting soil. And so when I watered it, the water would just kind of run off and it wasn't really soaking down, which was unfortunate. So there you go. There's a little quick um, string of hearts repotting tutorial and like I said if you want the really long version you can see um, part one of this where I'm actually dumping it out and showing you how I took the soil off and whatnot without totally ruining it. Um, a lot these plants are so ridiculous like they tangle so ridiculously easy and the leaves just fall off when you, you try and untangle them. Um, it happens to everyone it happens to the best of us so if you're repotting one and going oh no I lost leaves yeah that's that's pretty normal but as long as there's you know a fair amount of leaves left uh, don't worry have no fear it will recover and be good to go so hope you guys have a great day and i will see you in the next video